What's going on people? Happy Saturday. It's an absolute lovely day outside and here I am locked up indoors with the blinds closed doing a video for you guys. So we're going to get this video done then I'm going to sunbathe. So can you at least drop a like on the video to help out with the algorithm and also help me get past this copyright strike? I think we've got about 70 days to go before it's gone off my channel. Nice one, appreciate you. Today we're talking about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, specifically Mike Tyson. There's not too much going on within the fighting scene at the moment and over the last couple of weeks, Mike Tyson has put out a lot of new training footage and the vast majority of people are saying that he's looking really good and he's going to absolutely destroy Jake Paul. If you're new to my channel, I personally don't think the fight is going to go down that way and we'll get into why in a minute. Also, the official rules are being announced for this fight. And I've done a video about it. If you want to go and watch it, it's up here. We know that this fight is no longer going to be a glorified sparring fest. There is no knockout clause in the contract saying that they can't knock each other out. However, will there be a gentleman's agreement, a gentleman's handshake to not knock each other out? I'm not entirely sure. As much as it now seems like there's nothing holding them back from knocking each other out, I just don't think it's going to go down that way. And let me just start this video with a caveat. Mike Tyson looks incredible especially for someone who's 57 he's going to be 58 by the time they have this fight on july the 20th he looks lean he looks healthy he looks sharp he looks fast he looks good so don't in any way take this video as hate on mike tyson in fact i really love and i'm a big fan of mike tyson in fact here i am i met him years ago in 2018 in vegas look at the size of him this is when i was in my peak bulk and i was about 15 stone myself or 95 kilos i'm the same height as mike tyson well i'm 5 10 some people say Mike Tyson's 5'10", some people say he's 5'11", but when I seen him, I was around about the same height as him. But look at the size of his friggin' forearms. Look at his joints. Just his, his joints, his elbow joints, is like a knee. His hands, his wrists. I remember standing next to him, and I didn't realise how big his head was. Videos and pictures might be deceiving, but I have got a pretty fat head. A lot of hats and caps don't fit me. I've got to put them on the very last setting. I don't know, my head is very unusually dense and thick. Mike Tyson's head put my head to shame. Pardon! He's just got a big fat skull. He's a genetic anomaly. And once again, no hate to Mike Tyson. If you're watching this, Mike, and you come across me in the future, please don't kill me. Please, please, please. In fact, do you know what, Mike? If you come at me, I'm going to use my kickboxing skills on you. I'm joking. I'm joking. Mike would absolutely eat me for breakfast. So the last videos we covered of Mike Tyson were these four videos here. So it was this one and then these three here. And Mike looked good. You can see he looks quite fast. He looks ferocious. Good agility. Day two. I'm getting ready for you. Looks great. Now let's go up to some of his more recent videos. This one right here. <laughs> Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir, that's the one. So it's more of the same, and once again, Mike looks really good. But is he as fast as people think? All I see throughout loads of comments across all his posts is that he's looking really, really fast. I don't think so. I think the editing is making him seem a lot faster than he is. And I'll show you a punch in particular that really gives away that he's not as fast as you think he is. Now, is he fast? Yes, 100%. But a lot of people are saying that he's moving like he's in his 20s and that he's going to be too fast and powerful for Jake Paul. It's this punch now. I think he finishes the combination with a right hook. It's going to happen really quick. So watch closely. You ready? Three, two, one. 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 I think the editing is very forgiving. Anytime that we see a clip that's longer than two, three seconds of Mike, you can see that he's a lot slower than you realize. Once again, Mike, don't kill me. And also all the Mike Tyson fans, don't hate on me too much. You need to understand and digest what I'm saying. Everything I'm saying is completely logical here. He's 57, 58 years old, and we are definitely seeing a slower version of Mike Tyson. Now, in terms of just general athleticism, here's Mike doing some sprint drills. <laughs> Now, if Mike Tyson was running at you like this, you would probably shit yourself. You'd be scared for your life. 
I would not even try and take him on. I would run the other direction, knowing that I'm 35 and I'll have a little bit of a speed advantage on him and I can just get away. I've got no problem. I don't need to prove my ego against Mike Tyson. However, he needs to work on his technique. And the only reason why I bring this up is because if your running technique isn't that great, you can pull a hamstring, especially when you're a little bit older and you're doing sprinting drills. Take a look at his technique. You can particularly see it as he gets closer to the camera. So from here, right now... You can see he's almost a little bit robotic. His arms are a little bit straight. His stride just seems off. He seems a little bit off balance. Don't mean to judge Mike Tyson's sprinting ability. If I can move like this when I'm 57, amazing. I would love it. But you see people saying here, is that kid a growling? Nah, why would Jake fight him? And that's got 33,000 likes. You can see a lot of people aren't really grasping that Jake Paul is fairly decent. He can box 100%. Is he a world-class boxer? No, of course not. Was Mike Tyson a world-class boxer? Mike Tyson was a an elite boxer, one of the best to ever do it. I know a lot of people deny Mike Tyson being one of the GOATs, but even if you was to say top 10 or top 20 boxers of all time, you know, my personal opinion is that you've got to put Tyson in the mix just for the impact and the fear factor that he had on the sport of boxing. It's almost like the Conor McGregor effect. Was Conor McGregor one of the greatest of all time? Not in terms of resume, but in terms of impact, scale, and just superstar factor, as well as the skills to back it up and the finishing ability. You could argue that Conor McGregor is one of the GOATs of MMA. Of course, not the top five, but maybe top 10, maybe top 15, top 20. You can put him in the mix and make an argument for it, and Mike Tyson's the same. But back to the point, Jake Paul is good. It's like people don't understand this. They see a video of Mike Tyson sprinting a little bit wobbly with bad technique when he's doing so, and it's really not that fast. If you take away the roar and the growling from it, he's not actually moving super fast. He is for his age, but we got to remember that Mike Tyson's got about 30 years on Jake. So let's not say, nah, why would Jake fight him because we've seen a video of Mike Tyson sprinting and I'm glad this guy said it. He's almost 60 years old. Most of you can't run at 28. That's so true. Someone said, for anyone not too familiar with boxing technicals, he's practicing closing the distance because he knows Jake's going to run like he stole something. <laughs> and I do believe that's somewhat to be true. I think Jake's going to be more so focused on staying on the outside, using his jab to keep Tyson at range. Mike Tyson, judging by all the footage that he's putting out there, is clearly looking to close the distance. That's how he always did fight back in the day. Mike Tyson is not going to try and stay on the outside and jab Jake at range. No, he's going to try and close that distance, get in Jake's face and put it on Jake. But a point on that, I think one thing that we might find happening with this fight is it might be a clinch fest because Mike Tyson is going to try and close the distance and Jake Paul obviously isn't going to want that to happen. I feel like Mike Tyson is going to fall into Jake Paul's clinch a lot. Not for the fault of Mike, but mainly for the fault of Jake with him being a less experienced boxer. He's not going to know how to avoid those clinching positions that much and it's going to be kind of like Tommy Fury and KSI when one fighter lunges in and tries to close that distance the less experienced fighter is just going to clinch up and grab a hold of the other person I think that could be a potential outcome that we see happen in this fight <laughs> Imagine seeing this in the street. Shannon Briggs and Mike Tyson shirts off, sparring. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's laughing, everyone's screaming, but you know the nervous energy there was off the charts when that was going down. Right, once again, more footage. Let's go. <laughs> Someone said, Jake Paul, death button. It's got 79,000 likes. And you know what, right? I'm going to like that. Because if any of you guys have misconstrued my message in this video, thinking that I want Jake Paul to win, that could not be further from the truth. I want to see Mike Tyson come out here and destroy Jake Paul for a few reasons. One, it's Jake Paul. Two, it's the legend, Mike Tyson. And he's coming back at 58 years old. Now, here's Mike on a podcast. And someone said, so the Ryan Garcia's strategy goes viral. Now, let's all be crazy to promote. And a few people in the comments that Mike's just acting a little bit wild here and a little bit crazy just to promote the fight. Is that bother you, the mic? What? It, it's gonna sound like. No, 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 the mic don't bother me because you don't get this <laughs> together. What? I can't, no, I can't hear. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I can't. <Wait>. Okay, <laughs> okay, we got. We got a. Oh, oh, there it is. You might like this. This is why I'm here. This is why. I'm so hot. This is why I have to do. 
I've been doing this because I'm hot. Show sometimes I look so good. I'm just yeah. saying it myself. Is that, is that, you know what the, the f you put my life <laughs> <laughs> you put a bird on my shoulder. You put a bird, <laughs> you got bird on my shoulder. Flying the pigeons. Flying the pigeons. All right, let's go ahead. Right, I guess so now, now, you get some on your lip a little bit. There you go. Just, make, just look it out. <laughs> He's not faking this. The dude is clearly sweating his ass off. But people in the comments are saying, I like Mike like this. He's irritable. He's in fight mode. Someone said, yeah, young Mike is back. Someone else said, the edge is back in him. So is this a sign that Mike's in the right frame of mind? He's being a little bit wild, a little bit crazy. And then he posted this three days ago. <laughs> So once again, all good, but these short clips are kind of doing me head in a little bit now because we can't really get a good picture of what he's looking like. We uploaded a video covering Mike Tyson's sparring footage like last month, I think it was. I'll pop it up here in the top corner or on the end screen of this video if you want to go and watch it. But I think that was last year or maybe even the year before. So we haven't actually seen any super recent sparring footage from Mike, only this type of pad work. And once again, we've got the Jake Paul death button at the top, 43 thousand likes this guy said remember there is still plenty of time to improve tyson's muscle memory kicks in and he will become even more lethal than he is now i actually agree with that my tyson's been training for the last like what four five six weeks and he's still got till mid july to be ready for the fight so i think mike's taking a really good approach here it's probably going to end up being like a 12 week maybe even like a 14 week fight camp which when you're a little bit older and you've been out of the game for that long i think is a good thing you see some fighters and they're off for like three years maybe even five plus years and then they do a six to eight week fight camp for the return it's not enough the longer you are out really the longer your fight camp should be in my professional opinion this is coming from a personal training strength and conditioning coaches perspective remember it's going to take time to relay the foundation down before you even start thinking about going into a peaking phase now finally i've seen a comment who agrees with me has anyone noticed every single training clip is edited after two or three punches to tighten up whatever his real speed of a 57 year old Mike Tyson is let's see some unedited footage and I couldn't agree with this anymore it's extremely difficult to judge anything by these couple second clips let's take me for example haven't really done kickboxing consistently since me early 20s I've done it here and there in my late 20s and early 30s a month on five months off two months on three months off and then the last time I've done it for longer than six weeks was in the middle of 2022 so I'm incredibly out of shape I'm incredibly uncoordinated but with the power of editing here Here's how we look. <laughs> now my technique. Whew was an absolute mess there but with the power of fast editing it looks a lot more impressive than it really is Mike Tyson is infinitely better than me so I'm not saying he's unskilled I'm just saying it's hard to really get the real picture of what he's truly like can he maintain this level of intensity for the whole round even though he's not going to be trying to maintain this level of intensity for the whole round but being able to do multiple bursts like these throughout the entire fight eight rounds i think it was eight eight rounds it's going to test mike tyson his cardio is not going to be as good as it used to be he spent years smoking weed doing mushrooms living the party lifestyle being untrained he's now older so the purpose of this video is to just try and set a realistic expectation of what we might see from mike tyson although as i say i'd love to see him come out of the gate and just knock jake paul's head off what do you guys think comment all your thoughts down below for those of you who follow any of my music i've just released a new song called too polished yesterday it's an older one but i'm just trying to get all these old tunes out and it's a part of another two song release so you can go and check them if you want sponsor myself my training app waiting list and newsletter list is the first link in the description if you want to get notified for when my training app releases i appreciate you all tuning in like the video subscribe see you tomorrow